we praise you. O Lord, we bless you. O Lord, we thank you. Poverty. Poverty is our utmost and total dependence upon God. The Spirit impels us to the Father after the example of Christ. The Latin word vestigia means footprints. Hence, my steps must be molded to fit Christ's footprints. We are called to be conformed to Christ, not for us to imitate him, but for us to allow Christ to conform us. We must appreciate our own giftedness. How are we conformed to Christ? The gospel life for Francis is to be conformed to Christ in poverty. To follow Christ is to follow his poverty. Francis is awed at the mystery of the Incarnation. The heart of this mystery is the mystery of poverty. Christ became least and last. God makes himself poor in this world to save us. Mary chose poverty. We too must choose poverty. The root of Franciscan poverty is that Christ chose poverty, hence Francis chose poverty. Poverty is the first thing Jesus asks of his followers. Matthew 8:20. To desire nothing is absolute poverty. Francis finds poverty everywhere in the gospel. In the Eucharist, Francis sees poverty. Jesus humbles himself in the Eucharist. Francis is awed by the poverty of God revealed in the Eucharist. For Francis, poverty is the first step for religious life. First, get rid of all your goods, then be received. Here, Francis is giving us the message of the Old and New Testaments. We must share with the poor. Poverty is to serve the poor. The reason for poverty is to enable us to love. Poverty allows us to be more compassionate to the poor. Poverty is the foundation of our way of life. It pervades everything else. Indeed, our spiritual life is a life of poverty. Let us take a look at four levels of poverty. Poverty in relationship to things. Poverty in relationship to our inner selves. Poverty in relationship to our companions. Poverty in relationship to God. Our relationship to things must be a flowing from our poverty in relationship to God. We need all four levels. The dismissal of any of these, of these leads to pride. Poverty and things. This was not a renunciation of life's necessities as far as Francis was concerned. He allowed his companions things. Francis did not despise the weak human nature nor its real needs. What he opposed was the use of things to escape one's weak human nature. For in doing so, we end up with possessions. Francis's desire was that we depend upon Mother Earth for our needs. His use of the term sine proprio is not simply without poverty, property, but not claiming anything for ourselves. And we can possess, he says, all we can possess.
Jesus, as he says, are our sins and vice. Poverty and inner selves. We move from things to the deeper level of poverty, inner or interior poverty. A poor person can claim nothing, cannot seek after security, cannot seek after power not in keeping with interior poverty to seek comfort or control. So often we are quick to take possessions to ourselves. Among these is the possession of our good names. Francis says we must be very careful not to take possession of anything, interiorly or exteriorly. We are to be totally dependent for everything upon our good God. This includes the prideful possession of virtues given to us as gifts. The interior quality of our life depends upon how seriously we take the Franciscan understanding of poverty. Poverty and our companions. To get angry and upset with our companions is to have a possession. This is so because it is an attempt to dominate. We are not to get angry or upset about anything. In living like this, we are living a good life, living in poverty. We cannot place ourselves above the sin. Anger in one's life becomes a stumbling block to growth. Poverty has its fruit in our relationship to our companions. In accepting our own poverty, we are able to meet our companions in his or her poverty. Then we can begin to meet each other's needs. To do all this, we must give up our wills. Poverty and God. We come now to poverty and God. Poverty is the sister of humility. Jesus was poor and humble. Most of all on the cross, here he redeemed us. We must follow him by being poor and humble. To do so, we must try to get to the roots of our sins. Poverty touches the roots of our beings. The Spirit enables us to live selflessly. As one empties oneself, one is filled with God. Francis lived his life uncluttered from things. We must not cling even to our apostolates. We must not cling to interior things. Poverty leads us to a vision of God that is of the goodness and riches of God which he bountifully shares. And what do you